Hello everybody. In this video I'm gonna talk about how to install Java in Debian or Ubuntu. There are two types of Java if you will try to install it. Uh, there, there are JDK and JRE. JDK means Java Development Kit and it is used if you need to compile some Java files, if you are doing Java development and so on and so forth. And JRE means uh, Java Runtime Environment and it is necessary if you only need to run some Java application if you don't need to do any development and usually it is smaller package. Let's get started and in this tutorial we will install JDK uh, by default and first way of installing it by simply using our repositories and uh, this is the easiest and recommended way how to install Java type in sudo aptitude search uh, to check what is the name of the packet I don't remember it exactly so let's check it first by searching through our repositories and here we can see that we have OpenJDK 7 JDK and JRE so let's install this one type in sudo aptitude install then packet name press enter it will install multiple dependencies in particular it also requires JRE uh, that is why I said JDK is JDK takes bigger space so uh, let's confirm the installation by pressing yes and let's wait the installation has been completed and now we should have Java let's check it by typing java-version press enter you can see we have Java 1.7 from our repository and if you will try to scroll it up to check the output of the installation you will see there are multiple update alternatives commands and uh, what actually it is uh, update alternatives allow us to have a different version of executable on one system and you can easily switch between them so in particular this is java executable uh, this is the actual path to uh, the file and this is the link and Java is just the name of alternative. We will be using it a bit later and I will show you how to use it. So now let's install Java, the latest version from Oracle website uh, which is a version 8. So let me clear screen and first of all you need to open up the browser type in java jdk8 oracle download press enter and find the link uh, which says development kit 8 press on it here we need to accept the license and choose the proper file for your system in particular I have this one Linux x64 and I will choose archive tar gz save the file I have it already downloaded close the browser I will get listing here is my file gdk8 and let's extract it by typing tar-xf file name gdk press enter and it will take few seconds to extract all files and then we will start configuring it so we will have two different version of Java on the same system and I'll show you how to use it it is still extracting okay so it is done now this is our directory gtk 1.8 and I'll show you the listing of it uh, gtk 1.8 here you can see there are different directories 
but the one that we're interested in is bin and here all our executables that we can use in particular in this tutorial we will configure uh, only three of them java java c jar which are most mostly used but later on if you need to use any other you can configure them as well so first command uh, that we need let me clear screen is sudo update alternatives dash dash config and then the alternative name which is java and let's check what we have now you can see there is only one entry here uh, which is uh, this is the link uh, usr being java this is the actual executable and this is the name java so now let's install the second one type in the same command and then dash dash install next parameter is the link path to the link uh, which is usually in usr bin space and then alternative name which is java and then the new path that we're going to use is from oracle java which is located at home directory gdk 1.8 bin ja java and space and the last parameter is the priority i will explain it in some of the future videos uh, for now you can just type in something like 1000 press enter and it will be okay no problem so let's check what we have now again by typing sudo update alternatives dash dash config java you can see now we have different entries uh, by default it selects auto mode but for now you can just select any entry with manual mode uh, in particular we have our gdk 1.8 which is manual mode and we also have java 7 which is also manual so let's select another version from Oracle, Oracle version, uh, which is selection one, press enter, type in the same command. And now you can see the selection has changed. It is the first one uh, and it is Java 1.8, which is great. I will cancel the command, we'll clear screen. And now let's check the Java what to, that we have now type in java version and you can see it has been changed as well it is 1.8 and it is the oracle version so let's do the same for two other executables uh, let's type in sudo update alternatives install and then instead of java type in java c which means compiler and then here the name java c and path to the actual file is also java c press enter now let's config java c sudo update alternatives dash dash config java c press enter here also uh, make uh, the right selection which is one and we will be using compiler for java 1.8 press enter so let's check it again you can see we have our java c is selected which is great and let's do the last configuration for jar type in sudo update alternatives install uh, usr bin jar and then the alternative name is also jar and executable is also jar priority 1000 press enter and let's also change the configuration by typing sudo update alternatives dash dash config jar and change the selection here to number one press enter let's check it again you can see jar is also 1.8 now which is great so now you know how to set up your java using repositories 
you can also install it from the Oracle website and now you can always change uh, the version that is currently used by using update alternatives then dash dash config and then alternative name and then here change the selection anytime you can change it easily uh, I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching.